So today I thought we'd do something a little different. Lately I've been training my pure account at NMZ, getting those range levels and eventually the strength levels. And on the main I've just been AFKing at Sacred Eels for the chance at the fishing pet. And I've been doing my farm runs for a chance at the farming pet. But I decided that I wanted to do some sort of money maker on the side while I'm training the pure. And I came across the Eclectics, opening Eclectics, which is supposed to be around 2 mil an hour. That is, if you get the Ranger Boots on drop rate. And since I've had insane luck with Ranger Boots in the past, I thought I'd go ahead and give it a shot. Now, I'm also doing this because eventually I do want to get all the rewards for completing the Clue Scrolls. You get the award for the easy one at 500, mediums at 400, hards at 300, which I've already done. Elites at 200 and the Masters at 100. Now since I was playing two accounts at the same time, I definitely wasn't doing this in the most efficient way possible. I'll go ahead and throw up a picture of what an efficient inventory might look like, but for the most part, this account, I just, I started off using only my max cape to teleport to my house because I have almost every single teleport that I need inside the house. But as I did more and more clues, they gave me steps that I needed items for, so that is what you see in my inventory. That is pretty much what I ended up with at the end. Uh, those are the teleports that I either did not have in my house, or I just got them because they were a lot less painless. A good example of that is the Type O One Eye teleport that I ended up buying. Yes, they are expensive, but without them, it's kind of a long run to that area, so I just didn't feel like doing it, so I caved and bought some. And there's also a good chance that I might not even be using the best teleports. I tried to use the teleports that are closest to the areas where the clue steps are, but like I said, there's a pretty good chance that there is a closer teleport that I'm just unaware of, so yeah. Now in the future, when the membership on my peer runs out, I'll be able to focus more on my main account only, and at that point, I'll probably end up going the more efficient route with the setup that I showed earlier, where you basically have all the teleports in your inventory so you don't have to go to the house because using my house although it is cheaper it is slower because i have to wait for it to load and then i have to use the teleport from there so it'll just be a lot faster if i have all the teleports in my inventory and that way i'll be able to complete around 20 to like 25 clue scrolls maybe an hour i definitely wasn't getting those rates with the method that i was using but that's fine because like i said i was playing two accounts and i wasn't fully focused on this one now as for the gear setup, it started off with full graceful, but then I ended up switching out the legs for the diary legs and the boots for the diary boots since I did need those for a teleport. As for the weapon, I brought my dragon claws because they were very helpful in killing all of the NPCs that I had to kill for certain clue steps. Like chickens, men, pirates, Ardoin guards, barbarians, and other NPCs. Now, a while back, I did do all the stash units for the easy, medium, hards, and elite steps, but I think they've added some since then because I did have to make a stash unit for one of the clue steps that I did during this 100 medium clue grind. Which wasn't that big of a deal, but it really reminded me how nice it is to have stash units and not have to worry about buying the items from the GE and then selling them after you're done with them. Also, earlier I did mention that I had gotten pretty lucky with medium clue scrolls and ranger boots, and here are some screenshots from a very long time ago when I would do the medium clues, and judging by the XP in the top right, you can see that they were done fairly far apart, but still, I was lucky nonetheless. And with that being said, we are approaching the end of our last medium clue that will put us at a total of 100 medium clue caskets completed. Now, here's a look at all of the loot that I got from opening up the Eclectics. We can see that it totals to around 4,395,044 GP. Now, the loot itself from the Eclectics definitely doesn't pay for the price of the jars themselves, but it helps out. Now, it did take 2,606 Eclectics in order to get the 100 medium clue scrolls, which puts us at a little bit above the drop rate and the total cost for those jars was around 8.6 mil. Now that we've sold all of the loot from the Eclectic Jars and we've made some more bank space, we can now go ahead and get into the opening of the 100 mediums. And the rest of this video will be live commentary, so apologies if the sound quality is a little different. First one. What the hell is that? Cat mask, okay. 
I really hope they didn't use a cat, a real cat, to make that mask. Because that would be terrifying, but okay. On to the next one. Some green stuff. Some more green stuff. Some garbage. Ancient stole. Pink elegance. Okay, we're, we're actually getting some decent fashion skate going. Okay. Not bad. Now before opening up these caskets, I did try to clear as much bank space as possible because I was fairly low on it, so hopefully we have enough to store all of the items that we're going to get. What is that? Adamant cane. Okay. A page. Ancient page. Very nice. Pink elegant legs, okay. More fashion scape, I'll take it. The cabbage round shield, okay. Wow, it's actually worth nothing. I thought it was worth I thought it was worth a decent amount, but I guess it's really cheap. That's kinda sad. Okay. A neat little hat. Why is it so tiny? Oh, okay, what? Look at the size of the hat on the ground. And then whenever you wear it, it's tiny. What the- okay. That makes plenty of sense. Whole lot of green, but no range boots. Honestly, I'll even be happy with any boots. I'll take wizard boots, I'll take those. Uh, prayer boots, not even sure what they're called. Holy sandals, that's what they're called. Yeah, I'll be happy with any of those, to be honest. Because like I said, I've already been way too lucky with the ranger boots on this account, so. Anything that I get now would just be a bonus. Master Clue, okay. It took us about 51 Clue Caskets to get our first Master, which is fine because honestly I don't really feel like doing these after doing all the Medium Clues, but that's fine. I'll go ahead and do this and then we will open it up and see what we get. Oh my god, I hit the Moss Giant. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die! <laughs> oh my god. I'm dead. I'm so dead right now. Yep. Okay, we're gonna teleport out and retry. Because I accidentally angered the moss giant. That was my bad. Alright, there we go. That's how we do it. Step, I always hate doing these because I basically have to bank all of my gear so that I don't risk it whenever I go in there. Which is why I kind of understand when clue hunters die in the wilderness for all their teleports. It's pretty annoying whenever you're doing a big amount of clues. But for me, I just, I don't know. I don't want to run the risk of losing everything. Oh crap. It's over here. Well, that's fine. I guess we can run from here. I thought it was going to be in the wilderness training or the wilderness resource arena, but I was wrong. Such a far run. I probably should have just teleported here, but again, I didn't realize that it was the agility arena. I thought it was going to be the. Uh, Wildernorse, Wildernorse, Wilder, Wilderness Resource Training Area. Can't even speak right now. Hopefully I don't eat any food for this guy, because it's going to suck if I have to come back here. I tell you, sometimes these Master Clues can be pretty annoying. Which is why I don't mind if I only get one Master Clue for these 100 mediums. I'm almost done with the Masters anyways. Uh, I would like to get 100 done for the reward, and then eventually, yeah, I'll pet hunt for the Bloodhound, but I'm okay with saving that one for a little bit longer. 
Ooh, prayer potion. How nice of him. And we're still not done. Let's see. Oh, now it's in the wilderness resource area. How? That's actually hilarious. Okay. And there we go. We finally finished it. That took way longer than it should have, but it is done. Let's get out of here and go back to opening up our medium clue scrolls. <laughs> Don't worry, buddy. <laughs> oh my god, I love the wilderness. I love the wilderness so much, man. You can't trust anyone. That guy was so scared he was running for his life. He was like, nope, I'm out. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to the uh, crafting guild. And start opening up our mediums. Alright, so here we are. Let's open up the remaining 49 mediums that we have. And again, I will not be mad if I don't get any more masters, because that one took way too long. What is that? Lova Kenji Banner. Not worth anything. Along with some adamant full helm. Trimmed gold? That's pretty nice. Too bad it's not worth that much these days. I'm running out of space. Hopefully we have enough. Ooh, I like that cash stack. Um, okay, more gold. More garbage. Oh, there's some boots. I totally forgot that those were on the uh, the table. I don't know if they're the same rarity. Probably not. If they are, well, I mean, I can't complain. I, I pretty much deserve it after my ranger boot luck. It's too bad they're not worth that much more, though. They're only 47k. That's kind of sad. Oh, well. Again, I can't complain. So, I'll just take it. 35 to go. Ooh, there we go. That's a nice page. Bunch of adamant and a bunch of teleports. Ooh, some spiked manacles. Okay, that's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever gotten those before. I don't know if those are also on the, the boot drop table, but I'll take those. Those are actually worth a decent amount compared to the uh, boots that we got. Yeah, those are 800k. Okay. Yeah, I'll definitely take that. Thank you very much. 25 more to go. Another cat mask. Okay. Another creepy cat mask. Only six more slots left. Okay, hopefully we have enough bank space. Five more spaces. Whoa, what is that? A wolf mask? Okay. Let me see that. Oh, that, that actually looks pretty cool. Okay. I like that. A lot better than the uh, two cat masks that I already got. It's actually pretty cool. And we have one more to open. One more medium. No ranger boots yet. But who knows. We might get three pairs in this one casket. And let's see. Nothing. Okay, that's not bad. Honestly, I'm just happy that I completed 100 mediums. We're that much closer to getting the reward for completing 400 mediums, which I do plan on doing. So this was pretty nice and it wasn't that bad. Again, this was something that I was doing on the side uh, while I was training the, the peer account. So yeah, definitely could have done it a lot more efficiently, but this was pretty fun. And we got some cool rewards, got two unicorn masks, but we got some notable drops like the climbing boots, G, and the spiked manacles. So that's pretty cool. Let's take a look at the collection log. Oh yeah, and we also only managed to get one master clue in 100 mediums. So I think that's pretty unlucky, but honestly, I'm fine with that. Masters kind of, they, they kind of make me angry sometimes with how many steps they give. Especially when you get back to back to back uh, three step clues. Or what is it? When they give you three cryptic clues, 
yeah, those are those are really annoying. Um, but yeah, let's go to the clues. Look at what the log is looking like now. Again, we've gotten three ranger boots. Uh, this was before collection log, of course, so it only shows two, but that's pretty cool. We got the climbing boots G and the spiked manacles. No wizard boots and no holy sandals yet. I'm fine with that. Just give me those rangers and plenty of adamant armor. Bunch of trimmed, bunch of gold, some boaters, some banners. The cabbage round shield, which is worth nothing, sadly. Cat mask, wolf mask. I actually like the wolf mask. It's pretty cool. And a bunch of elegant legs and shirts and blouses and stuff like that. So, not bad. We can now go ahead and go and sell off all this loot in the GE. And we'll see how much we lost or made. Definitely probably lost because we didn't get any ranger boots. But in the long run, you'll pretty much... I think it's like 2 mil an hour if you get them on drop rate. So, it's not bad. And here's a look at the loot tracker. This is all the loot that we got from the 100 mediums. As you can see, it's only around 4.26 mil, so I'm pretty sure that we lost money on this, but that's perfectly fine. And before I sell off everything, I have completed the fashion scape from all of the items that I have. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what to say about this. Let me know what you think. 1 to 10. Rate it. Alrighty, so that is all of the items sold, insta sold. Uh, I sold them for a really low price, and even then it took quite a while to get through all of that inventory, but it's finally done. As you can see here, the total profit, well not profit, but the total money that we got from all of the clue items was 4,338,046 GP. And we still have plenty of eclectics to open for the remainder of the... 400 total medium clues that we're going to go after so yeah these should be able to last us we did use quite a bit for the first 100 but i think we have enough for the full amount and actually the video is not over i actually forgot about the master clue that we completed earlier so let's go ahead and open that up now what the hell is that boots of darkness i feel like i've gotten that before though let me see let's check the log real quick Definitely wasn't worth it in my opinion to do it because that is master clue trash. Yeah, we've gotten before. We've gotten two boots of darkness, got the gloves, got the rope top. We're just missing the hood and the rope bottoms. And yeah, we're pretty close to finishing up the 100 master clues, so hopefully we'll be uh, on track for that soon. I just want to say thanks for checking out the video, and if you enjoyed it, please consider giving it a thumbs up and possibly a subscription. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next episode.